South African middle distance runner Dom Scott left everything behind at 18 to pursue her dream of running on the international stage. She graduated from the University of Arkansas in 2016 as a five-time NCAA champion before competing in the Rio Olympics in her debut pro season. We caught up with the 25-year-old in her beloved Cape Town after she ended her 2017 with a competitive 10K run in Durban. It was awesome to come back and race on home turf. I hadn't raced at home in a while, so coming to race the F&B Durban 10K uh, was awesome. It was lovely to have hometown support and have my parents along the course cheering for me. The race was fast, I knew it was going to be. Um, they were athletes that had flown in from all over the world, including East Africa. Um, so that made it a good race, an exciting race. Um, I was proud to place fifth in a, in a full loaded field, in a talented field, um, and run a 33-26. Uh, not my fastest time, but they weren't the best conditions. It was very hot, very windy. Um, so happy to come out with a, with a good, solid performance. On the back of a great high at running at the 2016 Rio Olympics, Scott was bitterly disappointed to miss out on a place in the Team South Africa squad for the 2017 IAAF World Championships in London. was really a roller coaster, especially for my emotions. Coming into this year, the indoor and outdoor season, it was my first year running professionally for Adidas, having graduated from the University of Arkansas in 2016. Um, so this year, every, there were lots of new aspects. Um, I stayed in Arkansas, stayed training with my college coach, but now I was the little fish in the big pond once again, competing against some of the best runners in the world. Um, I really had based my season around running in the London 2017 World Championships. Obviously, I had reached the IAAF qualifying standards, but unfortunately, I had not met South Africa's um, higher and more challenging standards, and therefore was not included in the South African team. I really did feel somewhat defeated after not being allowed to compete I was really hurt. Um, I felt like my season had come to a halt, even though I was in such great shape. There weren't many races for me to run, um, especially during that three-week period where world, the world was going on. Um, so I did take a little bit of a mental break. I went and ran with some friends in my hometown in Fayetteville, Arkansas, um, and I found other areas that I could work, work out, still be getting my workout, but not necessarily being on the track where I just felt this enormous amount of pressure and disappointment. Um, and then after a couple of weeks, I felt like I was ready to pick myself back up and decide what race I wanted to run next and set my sights on. And I was really excited when I got invited to run in the New York Fifth Avenue Mile. And I knew that there was gonna be a lot of good competition, a lot of good girls running in that race, girls that had even won medals at the World Championships. And I used that, that race to really pick myself up, motivate me in training, and to finish my season well. While Scott comes from good stock, she has had to work hard since leaving home to study and train in the US. The grounding her parents gave her going a long way to making her the athlete she is today. My parents were both athletes themselves. My mom having represented South Africa in multiple sporting disciplines, uh, mainly in triathlon and having captained the Springbok team back in her career. Um, she also then went on to run really well at the Comrades Marathon, having placed top 10 in, on the women's side three years in a row. Um, and so I definitely get a little bit of my genes from her. I think I get my um, competitiveness from my dad though. So moving to the States was honestly one of the hardest things I've ever done. Even though it was one of my goals to get a scholarship to train, uh, to do a sport, to play a sport, and to study in the States. Um, it was so hard getting on that plane as an 18-year-old, um, knowing that I was going to be seven to eight hours time difference apart from my parents, um, knowing that you know I was going to be living on a totally different continent to them, with, um, away from my family, friends, and everything that was familiar to me. 
Um, but my parents reminded me that I was getting the opportunity to live out a dream and that I'd worked so hard for it and I couldn't now, you know, not, not take that opportunity. Um, but I do think that moving to the States made me the athlete that I am today. The NCAA collegiate system in the States is just so competitive. Uh, colleges, universities are bringing athletes from all over the world, not just the States, to compete for them. And that ultimately makes the NCAA so competitive um, and really prepares athletes well for the professional world. So when I got to the States, I was not the best athlete on my team, I wasn't even the best freshman or first year on my team. Um, I really had to step up my game um, and decide that, you know, who I wanted to be. Did I want to be the best athlete um, on my team in the NCAA? And through all of that competition and just constant work and constant uh, fighting, I was able to really, you know, excel and get to the level I am today. So. Yes, I do think that basing myself in the States um, negatively impacts me when selections for teams comes about. Um, I just hope that people can realize that the world really is a small place. And especially as an athlete, we're constantly moving, constantly training and racing all over the world. Um, I mean, most track and field athletes are based in Europe for three to four months over the, over the summer in the year, um, and then they're moving with the seasons, you know. During winter, they're going to a warmer area, and um, so, so, you know, even though I'm, I'm in the States, I'm also in South Africa for at least a month a year, and then I'm in Europe for a couple months a year. Um, so even though my home address is in the States, um, I'm living as a professional athlete, and that is to somewhat live out of a suitcase and travel wherever I need to be for training and racing. Dominic Scott in second place, and from South Africa, she's got a spot on the South African team, all but sewn up, and here she is, and look at what she's done for the school. Scott has run the fifth fastest 3,000 meters indoor track and field in NCAA history. She is a three-time Southeastern Conference cross-country indoor and four-time outdoor champion. While the South African can qualify in the future to run for the States, the green and gold is what it's always been about. When I was a young girl dreaming of competing in the Olympic Games, I was dreaming of competing in the South African uniform. Um, in the green and gold uniform, you know, with South Africa written across my chest, that was my dream. Um, and, that, and that's why I want to represent South Africa. You know, I'm born and raised here. Um, my nationality is South African, and I, you know, will never forget that. I will always be South African. It goes without saying then that competing in Rio was a milestone. So competing in the Rio Olympic Games was my first major championship or first major competition and it was incredible. I mean, firstly, it was a dream come true to compete in an Olympic Games. I'd been dreaming about being an Olympian ever since I can remember, since I was about 12 years old. And then actually doing it and um, living out a dream was so surreal, so special. Um, and it really was such a great learning opportunity for me. I went into the 2016 Olympic Games um, with not much experience racing professionally or at a world, world level. Um, and that race really opened my eyes to one, how difficult it is and how, um, how good the best runners in the world really are and why they're called number one. Um, but it also made me realize that I can run with them. It's fitting that Scott followed in the footsteps of Ilana Meyer. The two share a special bond. Mayer shot to prominence back in 1992 in Barcelona as South Africa returned to the Olympic Games. Right before she head to the 1992 Barcelona Olympics, she actually went to my mom's baby shower when my mom was pregnant with me. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then, you know, she went on to win a silver medal in those Olympics. Um, as well as I was the next South African to run, a female South African to run the 10,000 meters at an Olympics. Um, I think it was like 14 years late, no, 24 years later or something like that. Um, so we definitely do share a connection and we do stay in contact. Um, I help her, um, I'm an ambassador of EnduroCAD, which she is so passionate about and working hard with at the moment. Um, so. You know, I like to give back and try and inspire South Africa's youth, and that's exactly what she's doing. So we're, we're working hand in hand with that. 
Ilana Meyer has made it very hard for me to write my name in the South African record books. Um, she was obviously an incredible runner during her career and set some amazing records for South Africa, as well as obviously winning the silver medal in the Barcelona Olympics. Um, so trying to compete with her records is definitely a goal of mine. I would like to have my name um, in the South African record books. Scott holds five South African indoor records, ranging from 800 to 3,000 meters. She has been provisionally named in SA's World Squad, but is that her only focus for 2018? So 2018 is going to be a really exciting year and it's all going to happen pretty quickly because in March already in 2018 is the World Indoor Championships in Birmingham in the UK and I would love to compete there. I have a lot of experience racing on the indoor track having competed um, in the States in the NCAA, um, having won the 3000 meters at um, national level, um, having got a PR of 852 on the indoor track in the 3K. And then a month later in April in 2018 is the Commonwealth Games in Australia, where I would really like to represent South Africa. Um, I've heard so much good things about the Commonwealth Games and how they're just you know, really fun and how all the athletes come together, race hard and have a good time. Um, so I'd love to go to Australia and represent South Africa. Um, I have qualified in both the 1500 and the 5K for, for uh, the Commonwealth Games. Ambitious and hardworking, Scott is a great role model for all up-and-coming athletes. Dominique Scott Eifert now coming down the straightaway and about to win her fourth overall NCAA title during her career at Arkansas. Every year I'm learning more about myself. Um, I'm, you know, obviously becoming stronger, fitter um, and a faster athlete. Um, so every year I'm kind of uh, working out what my strengths and weaknesses are. This year I was really surprised by running a 419 mile at the New York 5th, 5th Avenue mile. Um, and it proved to me once again that I do have a lot of speed and I think that's I've, an area that I haven't quite reached my potential in yet. So I definitely still want to keep running the fastest stuff, the shortest stuff for as long as I can. I know that I have a lifetime to move up in distance. Um, so looking ahead, Tokyo really excites me. I mean, it's already only three years away. Um, right now, I'm still thinking the 5K, 10K, um, even more so the 5K. Um, and yeah, but really just taking every day as it comes and seeing what you know, best suits me, what excites me the most. Um, and, and where I'm going to really maximize, be able to maximize my potential and make South Africa most proud.